Hello everyone and welcome to another IA Roadkill Gaming video. We are playing Farming Simulator 19 and we are in Felsbrunn. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 8. You got it. This is my Harley. Oh, I missed the door. Oh, he went back in there anyway. Okay. Did I clean you? Stop moving. Stop it. Okay. Let's check. Clean, 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 clean. There. Seventy-four percent. So the horses are getting close. Okay. Well, they're talkative this morning. Right. Still no soybeans up. Darn it. I want to see plants growing. And, ooh, our grass is coming back. That's good. We can mow again. And our oats are doing well. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have two tractors up here next to my house. Uh, after the last episode, just before I was ready to sleep through the night, I checked to make sure the horses were exercised again and contracts and lo and behold I had a transport job. So I did one transport job last night before I called it quits. It was right at dark. So that's why this other tractor is up here. Speaking of jobs, let's see. Fert, fert. There's another transport again. A lot of fertilizer jobs. Those are going to end up clogging the works. Soybean, soybean, tater, corn, soybean. Alright, well, looks like the only thing we can do is the transport job. We're going to go from Farmer Hans to the castle. And we are set up with this tractor to do such a thing. So we shall do such a thing. Now depending on whether or not they give me another transport job, this is all I have to do today. So... If so, I may lump this into the next video. We'll have to see. So, I will see you down at the pickup point. Six of them this time. Let's see here. See, I need to scoot that one forward. That should work. Now that I think of it, I've never been able to stack pallets on top of each other and have them work. It's like they had collisions before. They must have removed them. All right, let's see here. A little light in the tail end. So, um, yeah, we can, we will just move. We'll just move the weight to the front, put the lift on the back. That will increase our stability. And if we put the drawbar 
in like that. Actually, it would help if I had the two, the tall stack on the tractor side. Alright, let's get them away from the tractor, set them down. I wonder, am I smart enough to do this? I didn't know if that would work. There, now the bulk of the weight is going to be next to the tractor instead of being way out to the end. Help a little bit with the uh, balance point. All right. Still gonna have to worry about taking those off the top when I get up to the top of the hill. And because I left the air gap between the pallets, they're gonna wanna wiggle and shake and fight each other, darn it. I thought about scooching them together, and I didn't. Hopefully we'll make it there without incident. So a few seasons earlier I had, seasons, a few days earlier I had a baling contract for silage bales with square bales. Those will be ready to be sold this evening if the price is good. So we'll have to remember to check that. I did not put that on my checklist for today. And I told you about the transport last night. Okay, I did not see that collision. Obviously I had a pallet a little too close to that guardrail. And it wiggled out. Wiggled out and hit it. if I could do this in cab better. Alright, tight curve coming. Stay on the inside. Oh, it's not yet. Alright, here's the tight curve. Stay on the inside. Oh, we didn't stay on the inside very good. I saw everything shifting out. But hey, we made it. Alrighty, we are here. Oh, and I guess I need to... Explain my money situation since it's in a negative 2000 state. Every. I guess I need to leave it here. Every. Evening before I go to sleep, I take all available cash, pay off my loan as much as I can, and then sleep past midnight, and then I take the money back out to make it equal our original loan of $500,000. I have not done that yet this morning. I apologize for that. 
as I get these drug off of here. I'm actually getting pretty good at doing that. Transport complete. $1,900. We will take it. And gosh darn it, they didn't give us another one. So, and it looks like we lost some more harvesting jobs. Hopefully they don't all disappear before we can get to them. I'd really like to do that potato job. $14,000. We lost the other potato job. That one's gone. Well, it is what it is. We will see. And I have the horses. Right, so repay is what I do every night, and then I would borrow. Oops, yeah. Back up to the 500,000. So there we have $69,000 to our name now from when we started at pretty close to zero. So we're getting there. Okay, time for the long drive back down this hill, back up the other hill to my home. And we will see you there. As you can see, we are not at the top of the hill. We are at the bottom of the hill by the gas station. I decided I'm going to stay here while I speed through time and get through the day so that I can sleep. And I'm going to wait at the bottom of the hill in case I get a transport job. Because most of them are at the bottom of the hill. Actually, I don't know that anything starts at the top of the hill. So, with that... We will crank it up to 120 and we will watch the contracts. I will be back if I snag something. And just as I suspected, one has popped up. We need to go to Carpentry to the supermarket. So. Oh my goodness, and now there is rain in the forecast. Go figure. We'll go this way. Yep, go figure. Because tomorrow... I could do a potato contract? Yes. Tomorrow I could do a potato contract. But not if it's raining. Now I have found that if I were to save the game, quit, start the game back up again that rain would not be there and I would have at least a half a day if not a full day before it would come back I'm not gonna do that I pretty much only play farming simulator anymore and that's for that very reason all right, I want the weight in the front to go down. There we go. I never shut off my PlayStation. It gets a little warm from time to time. But that way my weather is not disrupted. So...
yes, occasionally I do have to... shut down my PlayStation. Occasionally it will lock up on me because it overheats. I have an oldie. Looking forward to getting the new 4K PlayStation. That would be nice. I don't have a 4K TV. But if I had a 4K PlayStation, then I'd have to buy one, wouldn't I? See my logic there? Not sure if Mrs. Roadkill will go for that, but... Did we get it? No, we did not. There we got straps. Alright. Raise that up. That's high enough. We need to raise the front weight. There we go. Now, where are we headed to? Supermarket is... Supermarket... Oh, I'm zoomed out too far. Supermarket. Ah, there's supermarket. So, down along the water. So yeah, I could play games with the weather, but I will not. Barring a power outage that actually makes my game shut off. I thought about getting a UPS and uninterruptible power supply, but they are a little pricey, just to have a backup so that that would not happen. Oop, I got that sign. Sorry sign. But maybe I will get a UPS. You can never have too many gadgets. Oh! And I have to be on that other road to get to the supermarket. Right here. There we go, and that is the supermarket entrance right there. So, around back for deliveries, I suppose. Yep, right there. Right there. Transport finished. And once again, we do not have a transport job. Well, let's look at how silage bales doing. Oh, darn it. It's coming down. Yep, I can't sell the square bales until this afternoon. And yeah. So, we'll just have to see where Yes, I don't have to go anywhere. I could stay right here and wait through time. So, I just like checking my horses out. Okay. Fast time. I'll be back with you. And we have one. Carpentry to the Castle Hotel. Alright, and it is now 11 o'clock.
How many did they give us this time? Only two. To the castle. What's the easiest way to get to the castle from here? Uh, back down. Does it feel like a Monday? This is a Monday. This is early summer too. If you haven't noticed in the top edge of the screen is where I keep that posted. Okay, that was kind of a magical little uh, Incident, we'll call it. And transport complete. And we need to wait again. And I need to make sure that I do not wait anywhere near this point because I could get a castle hotel job to somewhere else. But it would lock up the game if I was within the trigger area. So we will wait over here. All right. Nice view of the city from here. Oh, you can see the city circle. Right. And now the waiting game again. And we've snagged another one. We're going to go from the sawmill to the castle hotel. Sawmill. Is that up at the top of my hill? No, the sawmill is in town. That just does not make a lot of sense. But, it's closer. I won't argue with it. We will do that job. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. I didn't quite go forward far enough. We got five. Alright, five it is. just heard a horse. Why did I just hear a horse? Because I'm hearing things? Let's see. 
Can I... Well, I wanted to square them up because I like things looking neat. That's not going to happen. Uh, yeah. Really, seriously, I hear horses. This is the one that has goofy tops. Might not work so well when I go to unload this one. Keep it in, lower it down, strap, keep it in, lift. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And where am I going? Castle again? I'm getting kind of bored with the castle. Alright, so, what is this building right here? I'm going to use... There's the horses. I'm going to use the collision to go inside. Well, we've got... Grass. Is this supposed to be a horse building? This one isn't, that's just a warehouse. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Stop the wiggle. Up the hill we go. Two o'clock in the afternoon, almost. Still have that looming rain in the forecast. It would be nice if the rain would start today, end in the night. And then I could get into the fields noon-ish tomorrow. My self-imposed season's rain rule is four hours of sunlight before I can get into a field after rain. And that could be full sun or partial sun. That's the best corner I've done there. Great demand at the grain mill. wonder what they want. Okay, so I need to try and slide that one 
it not all the way but I should be able to hook that box oops it didn't get it to me yet let go of that pallet underneath darn it Stop it. There we go. Don't drive on the picnic tables. Okay, silly game. Well, there we go. It was confused. Okay, I was hoping that I would not have to... Ooh, I could harvest oats in field 23. Borrow the items. Alright, let's go get some oats harvested before the rain. Two o'clock. That John Deere sure rumbles. Throaty. Field 23. Oh! 23? 23. Well, I don't need the trailer for that. I think I can sneak there from here. Uh, I wasn't going to take that sign out, but I did. Fishtails. Alright, I'll just start a diagonal right here.
And there we go. Started to rain at 3 o'clock. How inconvenient is that? Where am I going? Might as well just leave the tractor there. And we have a transport job now, but I can't do it because I have an active harvesting job. Horses are done. Right. Let's see, what do we got? Milk? Nope, I don't have any milk. And potatoes. I'd like to have potatoes tomorrow, but it won't be there when I get done with the rain. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of another episode. Our second rain of the season. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to leave a comment, you may do so below. Ooh, thunder. And with that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.